Krishna himself was an expert in like several kinds of science. He is an expert. He is an expert in several kinds of science. Then, uh, like you said, when the foundation of this institute was laid, there were people who wanted to go against science. Like, in what context and why didn't they realize that science is always connected to Krishna? Like, very good question. This question, they are not asking in that. Why did we misunderstand like that? Yes. But one reason is that when Srila Prabhupada started presenting Krishna consciousness in the West, at that time Prabhupada was presenting the idea that Earth is one of three levels of planets. Om Bhur Bhuva Swaha Bhur Bhuva Swaha Swaha means Swarga Thank you Bhuva Om Bhuva means Bhuva Swarga So earthly planets are there He also said there are heavenly planets He said sun is a heavenly planet Where people live in big big mansions the sun? No. And then he said, yeah, moon also is a heavenly planet. So when people ask, how can sun, sun people exist? He said, we'll get burnt. I said, in your body you'll get burnt. And it's not necessarily like Just like, like, just like you cannot live in the sun, sea. Fish live happily in the sea. But if the fish come out, they'll die. So different, different living conditions have different, different bodies. He was explaining all such things. That looks like Okay, but we have no empirical proof. It's an assumption then. Yeah, we don't have like a proof. But people could believe in it if they want. But by that time, it was said that Armstrong went to moon and he saw only rocks. So now, how could this be that they went to moon and you are saying Shastra Sargat says moon is a heavenly planet, which is correct. So that time Prabhupada argued, mainly because probably the, his followers were all youngsters, hippies, who were changed. So what are they going to Prabhupada is a ocean of knowledge. So he said, you first of all understand how this modern science is a speculation. But he meant it in a very advanced way. And he then he argued that, you know, uh, Darwin says the body is evolving from fish to frog to monkey. It looks like, at least in the West, it didn't go beyond monkey. <laughs> because they're still doing monkey business. But he said that according to Vedas, consciousness is evolving, all bodies exist. He gave the example, just like in a city, if you move from, you know, maybe when you don't have money or local property, you get little bit more money, you go to one bedroom, then two bedrooms, then maybe a bungalow, then a mansion. You are evolving. The buildings, the, the, the dopper but is not becoming a mansion. You are so doing that. So the science is very strong. So he argued against evolution and Big Bang. These are important things. So people thought he was against science. Are you following? Yes. In the morning walks, he criticized. <laughs> But, he also knew the same science could be used to actually prove the existence of other dimensions of reality. Are you following? Yes. But, he knew that if science itself is changed, then in that new science, people will see the descriptions of Bhagavatam, Puranas and Vedas to be correct. So, in 3.26.34, which was written way before Prabhupada went on morning walks and criticized science, he wrote, there is, there is something starting with this verse, read that. This verse is the potential basis of great scientific research work. So, Prabhupada has written that. Are you following? Yes. But nobody noticed this. Because we're too busy noticing what he did say. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. But when I joined the institute first, 
the very first day i was waiting for lunch and i wanted to, i said let me read something and i randomly picked up this book and i randomly opened to this page and randomly to this sentence this was the very first sentence prabhupada showed me when i when he asked me to do this work and i moved to the institute so i saw this very first at that time i didn't know i'm going to do research because i was an engineer so i thought whoever does this research this person will know what is actually bhakti vedanta institute i was thinking like that so it is all there you know all his books only in one place he wrote this but how to apply that dress actually connects to this quantum mechanics it was not so easy to find it i to do so. you have to know science very well in order to connect it yes. that was a good question too very good question